This is a grain of sand on my finger. You probably can't see that. Ooh, a lot more sand is blown on my face, but why do I have this grain of sand here? It's because all of humanity could fit on a single grain of sand, 100 quadrillion. I'll get to that in just a moment. But a lot of people ask me, how secure is Bitcoin? Is my Bitcoin safe? I got my seed phrase. Why is it important to take self custody? All that stuff. Well, let's do some numbers. Let's do some math. This is one grain of sand. We can understand one, right? We can understand maybe 20, maybe that's 20 grain of sand. We can understand maybe a thousand, maybe a few thousand. We can, we can understand certain numbers that we can wrap our head around, right? But if we start getting into millions or tens of millions or hundreds of millions or billions or trillions, you know, we kind of, we kind of start to lose grasp, right? Cause we're used to one, but how many grains of sand are there on the world? Well, roughly, we, obviously we don't know, we can't possibly know, but there's roughly seven and a half sextillion grains of sand around the world, right? So obviously there's, you know, what, eight, eight and a half billion people on the planet. You know, there's, okay, so we understand billions, eight billion people, tens of trillions of dollars of debt, you know, we understand numbers like that. Once we get to quadrillions, uh, uh, pentatillions or, or sextillions, septillions, that's where things kind of start to break down. You know, and so if I tell you that it's essentially impossible for someone to steal your Bitcoin, it's going to be hard for you to believe me, right? But let's put it in context here. So there are seven and a half septillion, or excuse me, sextillion, uh, see, I'm already messing up, uh, these little guys around the world, right? These little grains of sand, uh, seven and a half sextillion of them, okay? Now, a Bitcoin seed phrase is 12 words, right? Many of you hopefully have taken self-custody. You've already done that. You've written down your 12 seed words. Well, how many possible combinations are there of those words? Well, as you know, if there's only 12 words in a seed phrase, how could that possibly be unique, right? You know, total, there's, you know, what, 2048, 2048 possible seed phrases. <coughs> Ooh, a lot more grains of sand blowing my face. Um, so, okay, so how could that possibly be random enough to guarantee that my Bitcoin's secure and guarantee that nobody's going to get it, right? We have to keep in mind, and it's similar way with the deck of cards, it's not just the number of the 52 cards, it's also the order of those 52 cards. It's the same thing with your seed phrase, right? So it's not just the 12 words you have, it's the order at which you have the seed words in, right? And that's a huge part of what keeps the Bitcoin secure. It's not enough just to have the words, you have to have them in the right order. So what's that possibility? Well, it's, it's a very, very, very large number. <laughs> because essentially what you're doing is you're taking those 2,048 uh number excuse me words and you're multiplying it by itself you know that many times right in the same way with 52 you're multiplying 52 times 51 times 50 times 49 times 48 all the way down to you know one or zero you know which is 52 factorial we're doing a very similar thing with with the bitcoin seed phrases right so that means that approximately there are a hundred quadrillion or a little over a hundred quadrillion possible seed phrase combinations per grain of sand per grain of sand. So it, it's a number I can't possibly explain to you. It's trillions upon trillions upon trillions of possible combinations just from those 12 words, right? So, you know, there's eight and a half billion people in the world. That means that if we could possibly have hundreds of quadrillions of different seed phrase combinations uh, for Bitcoin, you could fit the entirety of, of humanity's needs for potential Bitcoin seed phrases and this single grain of sand here, all your seed phrases, all my seed phrases, everyone from the past and everyone from the future, the decades and centuries in the future, all of us, we could easily fit into this grain of sand literally thousands and thousands of times over. And still, we have this entire beach and the next beach around that mountain and the beach after that and around the whole planet. So, and this is kind of the funny thing that people don't think about is that there are so many, there's, in human terms, it's such an infinite number of potential seed phrase combinations and when you roll the dice let's say when you roll you know the cosmic dice and pick your entropy and get your specific 12 words that are chosen for you at random essentially what you're doing is you're finding a tiny little grain of sand in the endless sea or the endless expanse of grains of sand around the world right all these other seed phrases exist they just have no bitcoin behind them your utxo your specific seed phrase your specific bitcoin wall you know, your specific bitcoin address happens to have Bitcoin behind it because you've sent Bitcoin there. All, you know, this is all, you know, empty zero balance Bitcoin. Well, it's Bitcoin transactions, but yours happens to have Bitcoin on it. And so if you lose your 12 seed phrases, unfortunately, I do get this question. And I do get this question a lot. Luke, I've lost my 12 words. Can I get them back? Luke, how can I do this? How can I do that? Blah, blah, blah. Can I contact these people? That I'm telling you, no, if you lose it, 
If you lose your seed phrase, in this grade of sand, you have maybe a one in a hundred quadrillion chance of picking the right 12 words in the right order again. And remember, that's just one sand, one grain of sand out of all of these. I don't even know where, it, I, I just clicked it. I don't even know where it went. So if you lose your seed phrase, your Bitcoin's gone. I say that all the time, and I know a lot of you hear the message. I think a lot of you still are not hearing the message because I still get these calls all the time. I still get these text messages. I still get these emails. Luke, I lost the seed phrase. Where'd my Bitcoin go? How do I get it back? Well, good luck. It's, you know, you get, you get, you get an endless opportunity. Spend the rest of your life searching for it. Just give up. Just give up. If you've lost your Bitcoin, it's already gone, right? And this is why I emphasize the importance of some custody because if you don't keep your grain of sand secure, someone else is happy to take your self-custody for you. If I'm a scammer and I'm a bad guy and I see that you've not taken your self-custody properly, I'm happy to march right in there, take it for myself since you weren't willing to, and now you have no chance of getting it because I've run off into metaphorical beaches over yonder with your seed phrase, with your Bitcoin, and you're never going to get it back, right? So please lock it down because on a long enough time horizon, there is going to be an infinite amount of counterparty risk. All counterparty risk trends to 100% in that right time horizon. And then once you take your self-custody, once you actually get your UTXOs, if you get your tiny little, you know, get your tiny little wallet down, then you got to keep in mind, okay, how do I protect against losing it? How do I protect against having it blow into the wind and I then I lose it forever, right? Those are the most important things for you to keep in mind. And most people don't want to take the self because they're scared of, you know, taking that responsibility. They'd rather just farm it out to a counterparty risk. But again, on a long enough time horizon, the probability you're going to lose it trends to 100%. And that timeline is probably a lot shorter than you think. So, how secure is your Bitcoin? Well, if you're securing it properly, if you're securing it properly, it is the most secure asset in time and space forever in in human history at this point. And actually, we don't even know how to improve it to make it more secure just because of cryptography and prime numbers. And, uh, a long answer for another time. We actually don't know how to make it more secure in many ways. But there's nothing else that compares with this if you're testing it properly, right? And for most of you watching, this is going to be the very problem you have. People back when Bitcoin was $0.05, cents, $0.50, cents, $5, $50, you don't hear stories of those people. Oh, wow, I can't believe Jimmy bought it at $5. And, you know, now now he's mega rich, right? No, you hear the stories of people that bought it and then sold it. Ooh, a lot of green sand going to be a lot of seed phrases. Um, you, you hear the stories of the people that, that bought it and then sold it because they cashed out because they thought there's no way it could keep going up. But it did keep going up. And then the other people, that just as common, if not more common example, are people that lost it, right? Obviously, many of you know who Max Kaiser is. I interviewed him on another beach in El Salvador, um, you know, where there were, you know, hundreds of millions, if not billions of other um, grains of sand over there. But, um, you know, he and I were talking about the story of Alex Jones, right, or, or Russell Brand or Alec Baldwin. You know, they were all given thousands and thousands of Bitcoin. Alex Jones specifically was given 10,000 Bitcoin. It's worth fifty thousand dollars when he was gifted it. Five dollars a bitcoin. He got ten thousand bitcoin. Now, obviously, even though it's worth well more than a billion fiat dollars today, at the time of recording, he lost it. Right? His little grain of sand. He lost it. It's out in the beaches of um, UTXOs and wallets that are yet to be discovered. And he's, you know, so maybe someone in a few centuries will happen to come across a wallet that someone lost it. Right? And so maybe if you're watching this future in a hundred or two hundred years. Congrats to you, where you randomly generate a seed phrase and you happen to find Alex Jones' 10,000 Bitcoin, but probably that's not going to happen. And so, likewise, if you have any amount of Bitcoin, even if it is big significant, like Alex Jones thought, you know, $50,000 is Bitcoin, yeah, you lose it, it's, it hurts, but it's not the end of the world. Please take your self-custody seriously, because if, unfortunately, like Alex Jones or Russell Brand or like thousands and thousands and thousands of other people that had their uh, seed phrases lost, Likewise for you, please keep these things in mind. Please keep your self custody of these things especially in mind because it protects you against losing your seed phrase and it protects you against having your generations blow into the same time, kind of like the thing right there. So how secure is Bitcoin? Depends. It depends if you've taken your self custody or not, and it depends how you've taken your self custody or not. If you've taken the self custody, you got you got hundreds of quadrillions times multiples of sextillions of probability that you're just fine. And multi-sig, actually, technically, we wouldn't even get to that now, but multi-sig or above 12 root seed phrase, it gets orders and magnitude even more secure than that. But keeping it simple with a single sig, 12, 12 word single sig, that's how secure you are. And ultimately, it gives you the peace of mind to 
go enjoy beaches and go enjoy life. You don't have to worry about someone stealing it from you. But if you're not taking self-custody, I don't know why you would. It'd be all I'm thinking about. I'd be really worried about it. So obviously I talk about it all the time. Links in the description. Check it out. So onwards.